Hello, in this video, we're going to show you how to get origin in Cocos 2DX JavaScript. What we noticed was when you create a Cocos 2DX C++ project, by default, you get a hello world scene.h.cpp and a .cpp in the init method. There's a bunch of stuff set up very similar to what's set up in the constructor in Cocos 2DX JavaScript and app.js. But one of the differences we noticed was in the C++ version, not only did it get the screen's visible size, it also got the origin. So it was also factoring in the origin as well when positioning these items. But in the JavaScript version, as you can see right here, they're size, but there's nothing to do with origin. And our first thought was, does Cocos 2DJS not need origin? But then we thought, well, it's been like this for ever since we can remember in, in the default generated project. So if that was the case that it didn't need origin, I'm sure they would bring that technology over to Cocos 2 DXC++. So we soon said, nope, that's not it. For whatever reason, it's not in the default project. And we looked around, couldn't find it. Eventually we found how to actually get origin. So before we create this video, for anyone that's having any trouble getting the screen's origin, what we're gonna actually do is delete everything in here, including the size, and we're gonna show you a different way of getting the screen size. So what you wanna do, I hate the code formatting in Xcode for JavaScript, but yes, job done. You wanna do var director equals cc dot director the, you the reason we're getting the screen size as well again is just so it looks more uniform in terms of the way we're getting the origin as well and i think it helps us better understand what is going on so we're just calling the director getting an instance of this i'll sort out the code formatting after then you want to do get var size equals director dot get visible size so this is a screen size so this is any isn't anything special we already had essentially this but to get the origin very similar I do var origin equals director dot get visible set of size you put origin and that's it that's all you have to do to confirm that we've got this actually working uh, it's probably best if I actually start building it because I haven't built it yet. It's going to take a little while. But just to confirm that it's working, I'm going to do cc.log. And in this log, I'm going to put size. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to put size width. Plus size dot width. I'm also going to get the height as well. So to do that, it's very simple. Just do size height, change this to height. So that's how you get the width and the height of the screen size. And then I'm going to do cc.log origin. This is X and Y values. And these are duh, 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 plus origin.x. cc.log this is just to confirm that the code is all correct plus origin dot y so we're just going to wait now till it's compiled and then we'll just rerun it and we'll actually show you the width the height the origin x and the origin y values from the cc dot director get instance you know what because this is going to just take a minute or so, I'm just going to edit this bit out from here. We are now back. The build has succeeded. Just waiting for it to launch. Actually, no, because I didn't actually launch it. All I did was build it. So now what we can actually do is run it. We don't actually care about the simulator at all. So we'll just close this down. Wait for it to launch check out the log and actually see the width and the height but here we go with the width 800 and we've got the height of 
for 50 my finger origin at x and y zero on this particular screen size it is just well zero but it depends on your values because obviously let's say if i were to put u just another random letter as you can see it says undefined so x and y are valid values they just happen to be zero in this particular instance so that's how you get the origin and that's how you get the size of the screen as well using the same method if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question dot php there will be a link in the description there'll be another link in the description to the github page with the project and source code from this video so check that out please comment and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like this video as it really does help us understand what you like and obviously what you don't like about the videos and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day